everybody I'm up here at site number two and I'm just leveling all this out making it nice and then I'll probably start a new spot right here but you know I want to backfill everything and do a good job of that that way the landowner my neighbor will be happy with me because I kept my word but you know with all this I got to talk about something I don't talk about very much that is just a sheer amount of work, everyone, that I'm putting into this channel. Phew, as you can tell, I'm a little bit gassed, but that was a lot of, that's a lot of work. But look, it's pretty nice now, so it's suitable for plowing. But I thought, well, I'll cool down a little bit and walk around. I'm going to face tool here. Beautiful material. Some kind of shock and flint. I suspect beautiful stuff. Very elusive too. Right, one made out of Flint Ridge. I'm going to assume that it's not cleaned up. And the other one definitely looks like some kind of an upmercer. And I've got a pocket full. You know, and this is crap. I'm just going to be honest. Look at it. I mean, I'm just nitpicking through it. And I've done this before. But everybody just goes to show you when the rains hit, you need to get back out. You know, there's a piece right there. And I got a point laying here. Yeah, look at that little needle tip on that. And then got this. Now, I call these people the little point people because there's a lot of little arrowheads in this field. Yeah, that's a cool point, everybody. And I tell you what. Doesn't that look like a... Now, is that a, the hinge break? Because, you know, obviously there's damage here on this point right there. Oh, when I clean it up, that's looking like damage. That doesn't look like a rework. But, man, I tell you what, doesn't that look like a little... If nothing else, that's basal thinning is killer. I wouldn't suspect that's a, a fluting channel. Nothing else in basal thinning right there. And it's, it's a point, damaged point, right? <laughs> the surface hunting through the junk pays off. I'd have to say, you know, middle, just another middle archaic point, everybody. That seems to be what's at this site. Real cool, though, it's got that. The one side and you flip it over. It's got that stinking facial thing there. It almost looks like a flip, but I wouldn't call it that everyone. But just give you a look. A nice little tip to it. Right? Tip held up, but the rear end didn't. Point. Uh, Kishokan County. Site 2. Surface so I can see it. It's just all through here, buddy. Great sign, you know, right here. I just basically, I'm, I'm finishing this off right to the edge. That's all I'm gonna do today. May not even do all that, because I've already had a pretty decent day. But that was right in the wall, right, of the second scoop. So I set the scoop down, I grabbed one chunk, flipped over and seen this. I've touched it. Man. Blue, blue, blue. That's a cool piece. Preform, maybe, or a scraper. But man, the flint is not, that's nice stuff. Quite a bit of work on it. It's a nice artifact. It's going to clean up great. Let's see here. Yeah, see that stuff. Check out that awesome little tool. Dang it. There we go. Look at that, everybody. You can see how far I've gotten. I'm starting to get like streaks of black in there, so I know what that is. I dug up a basically a complete fire pit and either a, uh, a slate 
hammer stone or it was an unfinished silt preform, something like that. But it was a nice silt piece or a slate piece over in there and points and that fire pit. So, you know, to land something that nice. It's, I mean, it's like red and blue. Fishy. It's awesome stuff. But another little nice artifact there, buddy. Getting them. Getting them. That's an end scraper, but do you see the, it's got this bump in the center, like a little graver spur. Kind of cool, it's getting seen cortex on it still. And then I got this like this, this isn't a drill, but like a reamer. Right there, you can see there's been all kinds of use. All right, now is out of this last scoop. And I put the brakes on. I wanted to show you. Look at all the charcoal mixed into that. And this is right above that Horizon B layer. So, you know, it's every bit of, it's like mm, about a foot down. Yeah, if you can see there, that, that light soil, you know, that's almost like clay. But the very next, the very next scoop of dirt I took. Took one chunk off of it and then this. I don't know what it is. Now, being that I'm not going to go much farther, you know, I wanted to show you this live because this just be like a great big core or something. But it's made out of some really awesome material. It is. Wow. Oh, that's like a chopper, everybody. That's a hand axe. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, that's what it is. That's a hand axe, hand chopper, big one. Look right up above it. Yep, see that? Fire pit rock. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely what that is. Mm-hmm, hand axe, man. Yep, big chopper. All right, we're gonna get back on it. Big chopper, see ya. All right, everybody, as you can see, I'm to the edge of this and I'm stopping, that's it. So I've been backfilling and I got this little spot right here to finish up, you know. Not a whole lot, right? The majority of it's finished. But I got this piece of bluish black shocked and it's got quartz seams running through it and lightning lines that's beautiful but right before i found that look at that beauty perforator all graver <laughs> made out of some really nice blue material right some more upper mercer so really good day everybody oh um Pretty sure this is another hammer stone. It's all rounded off. It's flattened right there. It's being held. But it's nowhere near that other one. This has like been fired and stuff. It's it's really not all that good of a piece, but you know, I love that big chopper. And then to finish it off with a you know piece like that. We'll take it. So alright, so we're gonna do the right thing here and fill all this in make it all look really nice i just seen my landowner if you can see a farm that direction that is his spread and all on this high ground right here uh i've seen him running the manure spreader today so he'll be over in these series of fields probably within the next two days so i want to leave this in good condition for him right i appreciate what he allows me to do i really do well i'm back here at site two I have some other clips from this site location, and I'll put it with this dig, so it'll be a two-day thing. I'm not going to stay here all day, but you can see the area that I'm going to work, so i got to break down this clump, and uh, hopefully I'll find a nice ancient artifact today. That's the goal, so it's a really lovely morning, everyone. Sure is. I can hear the woodpeckers and hawks. 
all that sort of stuff. A lot of wildlife milling around. It's really nice. So nice spring day today. You know, I've done a lot of work up on the hood of the truck. I'm, I'm not wanting to get up out of this spot here. But up on the hood of that truck, there's a, a base. It's an Adena stem point. It's got another. like to find the other end of this one. <laughs> and find a base of it would be awesome. I'm gonna stay on. It's gotten stinking windy. I got a pool tool here. It's awful windy here, buddy. All right, uh, there's the tool, and I'm starting to get more material too. This one has definitely worked. I can see that clearly, and it's just you know fantastic grade material. It's hard to get turned around here, but that's a pretty nice little perforator, buddy. That's nice. Yep. Pretty nice. Got that little exaggerated tip to it. Needle tip. Yep. Liking it. Liking that. Alright, well, let's get ourselves focused on the task at hand. There's one, I'm just flipping them, all these flakes onto the other side. Put this up. I've got quite a few finds. I've been putting them in my pocket and getting them up periodically. Sitting them up there on the hood of the truck. I'll, I'll show it. I'll, I'll cut a little video, but this may be something. But then again, it could be a pre, I don't know, probably a preform. Wow. Uh, it's core. It's what. It's what I'm thinking. It is. I mean, it's. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a core. Right. Hey, pulling down, and chipping flakes off of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. That, or it's a broken piece of preform or something. I'm going to stick by what I said. I'm thinking that's like a core. Yep. Something they were, you know, spalling on and getting bladelets and, you know, extracting material that was suitable for making points or little tools. Yeah. Who's to say, right, everyone? I mean, it's in a field, anyhow. It's been farmed for about 150 years, so. Well, now you can tell why I haven't been filming too much today. I mean, it is just windy as hell. I mean, look, it's it's blowing the, the flint around. But look at that. It's got mineralization on it. It's, I mean, pink, pink, pink. It's got work right there. And you can see the mineralization on it. But there's a inclusion dead center of that piece can you see that to me that's awesome man that's a nice little pool so I, i'm loving that and there's that really nice perforator and this other one so it's some pink stuff today and so there's the base of that uh, broken stem to dina um there's a broken tip there's upper mercer. I was getting some upper mercer in here too. Hey, look at that stuff, everybody. I mean, it's fantastic. Red, white, and blue. There's that little spawn hammer. You see it? It's just they've got this thing. You can just beat all the beat all over it, right? Those 
this core is some chunk of work material. You can see it. So not bad. I mean, it's with with the other hunt not too bad, but to spend a whole day and and this is really all that you get. Nothing really to brag about. But that that there is awesome. I mean, without a shadow of a doubt, I like that. that just because it's got that quartz and dead center of the top of it, that's awesome. Like I say, I mean, the, the, the color's just fantastic. So a few things. We can't always hit home runs. We've got to take our singles in life, right? And be happy with it. So I'm going to complete my work. Well, there you go, everybody. As you can see, I have completed the dig. So I have some stuff in my pockets. I just got a uh, a flint little spalling hammer. It's not very big, but you know it's made of flint. It's kind of beat up, which it's a hammer, so it would be, I guess. I don't know, but I'm exhausted. As you can see, look, it's it's it. So I've got to do some backfilling. And other than that, I'm done take some pictures and cut a little video and show some of this stuff up here it's on the hood of the truck other than that everybody thanks for watching i'm gonna put this with that little point that i found and some other stuff so there'll be a few finds well i appreciate you watching everybody hope you're doing well be seeing you on the next one everybody look at that stuff this little like tool. Man, that's gorgeous, isn't it? See ya. Okay, everybody, it's Easter morning. Pulled that from right there, and right up above it, some fire pit rock. So. That's where I dug the other day, and then right behind me is where I started digging days before that. So I guess this is the third day, right, I'll put with this video. So, not a bad start. So, see stuff like that. A lot better sign than clear over there. I'll find the other half to this point. And I'm going to tell you something, I will be very happy. It will make for a great <laughs> Easter. Look at that stuff. That fantastic quality. Flint Ridge. But I'm going to stay at it. Hopefully I'll find the other half to that. See ya. Oh. Go. It's like a perforator, like some kind of a drill, maybe. Uh, found that live. It's a piece of a good piece of fire pit rock right there. It's sandstone that's been heated over and over. It's fractured and reddened. All kinds of different stuff. But I just got to this, everybody. That's nice. Very well, well worked blade. Here, fell out of this clump right here, and there's all kinds of specks of 
blackened charcoal. You can see it right there above my finger. Yeah, pretty bright out here. There's a piece of pink. Ridge. Yeah, very bright. Can't can't see very well, so yeah, like I said, it's I'm almost done now. Look, I'm right to the edge. A lot of work. I've gotten a few things. I'll add the footage I've gotten and with uh, some of these other days. It's been days of this without without any really, you know, awesome stuff. Uh, the uh, this is pretty nice find. This is a keep of, this is a case filler right here. But you see that hole right there. I can't tell if that's packed or if that's a um, fire pop mark. Man, it's awful circular, isn't it, everyone? It's looking like it's made. It's purposely made for something. I think he pecked that out of there. But, yeah, it's a nice, it's a really good looking sign. Look at that. Is it falling apart? There's more of it right now. Here, I'll grab this and streak it across my everybody charcoal yeah it smears yeah there's a lot of material in here I started finding a lot more of it as I'm getting closer to the edge hmm all right <clears throat> what do we got here Huh. Eh, it's nothing. Gotta look it over though. Alright. What? Oh. Everybody, this is a flint salt. It's damaged. Oh. Right there. You can see, look how it shattered back into it. Man, everybody, what a hell of a piece. Uh, still pretty nice. Yep, it's still, it's still what it is, even though it has damage. You know, if I was to put my money on it, I'd say that agriculture is the culprit, right? But you never know. I mean, if I look at it and there's mineralization on top of that, well, then it's an old break, but... Ah, uh, just buy a ball out here in the field. Looking like a looking like a farmer's nick right there. <laughs> right? Tractor. The old plow come through here and tsh, hit it. Yep. Flint salt. Man, that was some translucent, beautiful stuff. Alright, gonna stay on it, gonna finish my work. Not too bad for an Easter. See ya teeny tiny little drill bit I think it snapped off it's not all of it but there's just enough where I can tell what this is I hope you can see that pretty cool little piece now I'm trucking along here so I'll show you what I've gotten so far I haven't stopped for everything and the busted stuff again. Yep. And this is a real nice one too. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah, pretty cool there, buddy. I'm getting a few pieces. It's like everything's little. Little tools. Wee little tools. I mean, look how big, how small those are compared to my thumbnail. Lots of little items. You know, all these. Just, this here is Buren. He snapped that, and then they reworked that whole edge right there. So broken stuff. Some kind of scraper, I think. Like these wee little tools today. It's kind of strange, but 
you know, cool though. It's telling the story of these people. So I have to show it. See ya. Look at this killer little tool. Look at that. It's a, like a freaking needle. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice now. Well, yeah, put it in there with everything else. Look at that fire pit rock. That's a good example, isn't it? Well, I'm going to finish this up and fill all this in and take care of my responsibility here. All right, I'm going to get up on out of here. Hope you're all doing well. It's a very nice day today. Get out and enjoy the outdoors. We'll be seeing you.